And hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Sim Games TO, and we are going to be continuing our, our build of Howell River, British Columbia. And last segment, we did our Willingdon Forestry Area. And in this segment, we are going to put together the airport. So, let's go ahead and make the airport area, which is going to be over here. Let's use a larger brush to do so. And let's take this entire area and make it the airport. Which is going to go over here. Just like that. Alright, so. Let me just get the name of it. I think it's going to be. I think I already know what the name of it's going to be. But let me check anyways. So. This is um, Howell River Airport. <laughs> Yes, I did know what it was going to be called. Mm. You know what, I'm going to remove this, and I'm going to make it so that it's all flat all at once. Um, let me just go ahead and... There we go. There we go. Howell River... River Airport. Alright. Call oh, River Airport? Okay, very good. And let's re extend the road now. And let's see. So let's see what roads are being offered by the airport. Um, so I've never actually used the airport roads before. So what is this? This is the medium cargo airport road. Large cargo airport road. Okay, so this is just cargo airport stuff. Okay, so I don't think that we're going to use any of those. Um, let's take a look here and see what else is on offer. For roads, bus, taxi. You know, let's use the bus lane one. I think I like that. It's more appropriate for an airport, right? Okay, right to there. Okay, then let's extend the name. There you go. And let's bring out, let's bring it around here. Let's make a loop so that people can drive around. Okay, and let's see how the airport is going to go. So let's see what terminals we could build. Cargo airport. Oh no, that's just the regular default airports. No, let's go into the specialty airports. Um, oh, students plus 78 to unrecognized, unrecognized campus. Attractiveness is not there yet. Let's have a quick look at the campus. Let's see how many people are attending right now. 396, that's the highest it's been. Attractiveness is a bit low. So why don't we add in a little bit of attractiveness and see if that can attract, in quotes, people. So let's see, University Fountain. There we go. Let's see how much that helps us out. Oh, it helped us out a little bit. And let's go ahead and put in uh, a couple of other things that may attract people. Let's see, Math Club. You almost need to have a math club at a university. There we go. Just makes sense. Okay. And let's see here. So, okay, how, how much that will bring us to 175. Wow. 75 points just for a math club. Okay. And let's see if we could add in one more thing. Um, university cafeteria, no. Gymnasium capacity 305 just a week. Let's, let's put in a gymnasium. Let's see if that's going to help us out at all. Let's go ahead and just put it over here. Let's see if that gets us up. Oh, look at all the happy, how, the, how happy that made everybody. 
Okay. Oh, beautiful. We're up to 210. So now we just need to see if we can get enough students to get it to be a level 2. And it's climbing. 401. Yeah, we'll check in with that later. See how that's coming along. Okay. So back to the airport. And let's go to the actual airport menu this time. Not the default one, but the DLC. And we will have an airport. We have a runway. The runway actually goes this way um, in real life. So let me just make that little change. Because I might as well just follow the real life way that the runway runs. Okay. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and put in this runway. There we go. If I can get the right menu. Okay, just like that. So I'm going to move over just a little bit more. Give us as much space as possible. There we go. All right. So now we got the now let's get the taxiways. Um, actually, I'm going to put in a terminal. Let's put in a classic airport terminal. And. I'm just wondering which way this goes exactly. I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, here we go. And just like that. Okay, there we go. All right. So the terminal is in. So now it's going to be time to put in the rest of the facilities for the airport. I'll just grab some music. Oh no, the music's running. All that jazz is playing now. The City Skyline soundtrack. Alright, so let's see here. So I'm going to put in a small air aircraft stand on a concourse. On a concourse. Must be placed on a concourse. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in a concourse. Okay, and there we go, just like that. That's large enough. I think it's already larger than the real life Powell River Airport. So I think we're on safe ground. Let me put these in one, two, three, four. Five. Oh, okay, so now it's letting me put it here for some reason before it didn't. Mm, and we'll put a few medium ones too, why not? Might as well go for it. And for a penny and for a pound, right? Okay, there we go. And let's see if we can put one more in. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so next is going to be the taxiway. And let's get to work on that. There we go. Not enough space. Space already occupied. Ah. Uh, oh, okay. So now it's not occupied. There we go. Okay. Let's just connect all of these. There we go. Three, four. There we go. All right. So I think that is a fully functional airport. So what is the attractiveness? Zero out of two hundred. Well. Let's see. And we've got passenger planes going already. Okay. So, let's go ahead and put in some roads here. There we go. And there we go. All right. And let's remove the traffic lights. We don't want them or need them. Let's remove, remove, remove. 
Okay, there we go. And now we're going to set up the airport shuttle. And we're going to very simply run it from none other than our bus terminal, which is right over here. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's just save the city here. Save. Hal River, save, yes, overwrite, for sure. Okay. So, let's go to the bus tab. And there we go. And We're just going to put stops along the way here where people can get on and off the bus. There we go. And there. Okay. And let's put it over here. And let's mirror the route back. Three, four, mm. There we go. There we go. And let's pick a color for it. Actually, we'll do the bus first. We'll switch it to the Lions bus first. And let's make this one yellow. Howell River Airport. That's what we will call it. Okay. And yellow. Now, there's one more thing that we should add into the city that we haven't, well, by we I mean me, I have not thought of, which is, oh, not enough buyers for products, huh, we should really change that, 100% full, 100% full, that's never a good thing, everything's 100% full everywhere, okay, well, maybe I will do something about that, um, but there's something else getting back to what I was about to say so there, what we have missed out on here is a taxi service so I'm thinking about where we can put that where it would make sense perhaps at the airport that would be a good place to put it let's put it over here well, let's have it the Powell Powell River Airport Taxi and zero in use. Okay, let's see if any of those will get used. I'm wondering if any airplanes are actually going to start to come into the airport. Not seeing any yet. There seems to be no traffic at the airport. So, active flights six. And passenger count. Well, we haven't had any planes coming in. Or out. I'm not seeing any aircraft. Hmm. It says there's six flights active. I think there's just one. There we go. Was that an airplane? Is that an airplane? Hmm. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. Oh, garbage has just been taken care of by a garbage truck, I would assume. Yes. Indeed. Uh, any taxis out yet? No, no taxis out yet? Okay. Well, we're going to name this Airport Circle. Airport Circle. Even though it's a half circle. So, not enough places to take products. Well, gosh, let's make some places to take products, shall we? There's some space here that some places here that it could be taken. There's some space over here that it could be taken. So why don't we go ahead and take care of this problem? Okay. One, two, there we 
go. All right, so all of a sudden now there's somewhere for them to take their goods. Look at that. What do you know? Now there are buyers for the products all of a sudden. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay. Okay. Um. Hmm, let's put some over here. Hmm. One, two, three. Okay. So, there we go. There are some places to take it so that they could be sold. It's quite the forestry industry we have. Ah, uh, 719. Yeah, so profits fell because they don't have anywhere to sell their products. But that will hopefully change. Okay, so how's the yellow bus doing? Oh, oh quite a bit of... It's transporting quite a few people. Oh, is there a plane arriving? Why did they all of a sudden just... Why are they all of a sudden getting ready for a plane? I don't see an airplane. Okay. So, and then back here. Oh, we've got lots of people waiting for the bus. 15 buses. That should probably be enough. 33 residents, 2 tourists. And 100% of them have decided to use the bus instead of driving. That's fantastic. Okay, so are there any arrivals of aircraft? No. Hmm. I wonder why that is. Okay. Well, as we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and put some residential areas in. So let's put a fire station in here. I'm going to put the school is going to go there. So I'm going to put the fire station here. I am going to put the EMS station over here. And then we are going to put the school, a mid-sized school, 300. That's, that's good enough. I'll put that over here. <clears throat> All right. So let's go ahead and name these. So I have the name of the school, which is over here, Assumption School. Um, where, where to go? There we go. Assumption School. Okay, and Glacier Fire Department, random, so Glacier Fire, and we're going to have Glacier EMS, EMS, good, and the city is making $20,000 a turn, fantastic, okay, uh, well, let's switch that to random, okay, good, now, let's go ahead and put in some, some, Residential area here. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to use the marquee tool to put in some residential here, and I'm going to put some commercial in along here. There we go. There we go. Okay. So that's building up quite a bit. And I think that I am going to make the Powell River Dog Park. Let's uh, go ahead and make an area for that. I'm wondering whether we should make it a something else, a dog park. Maybe we should make it a zoo. Let's let's go ahead and make it a zoo this time, just just for just for the change. So let's see a main, zoo main gate. Let's put that over here. Then let's put a side gate. A zoo side gate over here. Another side gate over here. And then let's get the roads and everything in. Oh, let's just do a straight line. 
There we go. Like that. And to there. And then let's bring it around. And to there and to there. And let's just make a little area there. Okay, so let's see what we can put into the zoo here. As amenities, we'll start with the zoo cafe. We'll put that over here next to the main entrance. And we'll put in a zoo souvenir shop over here. And at the third entrance, we'll put in, in the restrooms. Okay, so let's have moose, moose and reindeers. Moose and reindeer is practically a must-have. Mm. Space already occupied. Well, I mean... Okay. So let's put that in there. Birdhouse. Oh, let's put the birdhouse over here. Okay, and let's have an antelope enclosure. Let's put that over here. Good. Let's see what else we can get in here. Bison enclosure. Uh, we'll put that over here. Okay. Uh, no, that's not where we want it. Hmm. Well, let me put it on the... Uh, let's get rid of it. I don't want it connecting to the outside path like that. So, maybe not that then. So, let's see what else we have here. Insect amphibian reptile house. Huh. All at once. And flamingo enclosure. Okay. It's not letting me easily put anything over there. Okay. Let's put it over here. And elephant enclosure. Mm. Okay, let's put it over here. Okay. And what have we got? We're up to 1,000, not a 2,000. Okay. So let's see what else we can put in here and how. Okay. I will have to connect those paths individually to those locations, but first let's see what we can at all just get in here. So we have the lion enclosure. Hmm. Lion enclosure. Uh, this is rather large as well. It is how big or small is this? Ah, oh, we can put that over there. Perfect. Okay. Monkey monkey palace. There we go. And giraffe enclosure. Okay, so let me remove this, remove this, okay. Okay, so let's put the path. over here. OK. 
Okay. And let me remove this over here. Let's let's put it around here. Just want to make sure that they can't get in. Oh, I hope they can't sneak into the zoo there. Okay. Well, in any event, I'm going to leave that for the moment. Zoo Plaza. Zoo Plaza. Interesting. Let's put in a Zoo Plaza. I like Zoo Plazas. Okay. So let's see Giraffe Enclosure. Let's see if we can get it in here somehow. Elephant Enclosure. We already have an Elephant Enclosure, don't we? We do. Okay. So let's try something else. Flamingo enclosure. Uh, that's going to remove the row, which I do not want. Hmm. Hmm, but it's putting it along the road, which I don't want. Okay. So let me remove this road here. And I'm going to redo that path over there. Hang on. And let's redo that. There we go. Okay. So let me put the path this way instead. Let me try to put the path this way, down this way, see if that helps us out at all. So let's put in one of these attractions, bison enclosure. Do we have a bison enclosure? Rhino enclosure, monkey place, insect amphibian, birdhouse, elephant, antelope. Okay, so we don't have a bison enclosure. Bison enclosure. Uh, okay. Mm. No, it will not fit. Flamingo enclosure. Okay, no. Elephant enclosure. Where do you have one of those? Giraffe enclosure. Okay, so let's just put that there for now. We'll connect it in a moment. Lion enclosure. Okay, let's just put it there. Okay, so let's go back and um, find the path and see if we can connect it to the path now. There we go. And that seems to be close enough to... There we go. Okay, so people can get there. So let's see where that... Oh, there goes an airplane. Um, 1378 out of 250. So let's see how that comes along. So we do have population populating the area. I would like to see some commercial zoning here. Let's use the marquee tool to put those in there and here and let's put it here as well okay so we're still holding population at 13,600 which is fairly good anybody visit yet nobody visit nobody has visited yet so let me actually just put in some bus stops here there we go. And let's put another bus stop in over here for better access for commuters. And I'm not sure whether we should put a bus stop there. I don't think that we could, it would be adding of much value to do that. We've got another plane going. We've got another plane arriving. 
Let's see, so that is taking off with 12 people. Let's see if there's anybody arriving. There's one arriving, I believe. Landing, yes, okay. So, there we go. We got people waiting. How many people are this 90 bus? Oh, or 90 people on the bus? Fantastic. So, that is 315 people, 56 tourists. 177 people waiting at the airport. Okay, so let me just add a few more buses here. I think that that would serve serve us well and serve people in the city well. So four more buses, that should probably do the trick because we should get some expedited service on here to get people moving in and out of the city faster. Okay, and there's another arrival. Let's see how much people, oh, that's taking off. Okay, not bad. Okay, so we've pretty much got the RCI bottomed out right now. So I'm actually kind of happy for that, oddly enough, just because I don't, we don't really have a need to really continue building up anymore. We've reached a pop, the target population of the city at 13,000 something, so 13 and a half thousand approximately, which is about right. Let's take a look at the Powell River Dog Park again, which is really our zoo. So five people visited. Yeah, so not, not, not a huge wave of people just yet, but let's see, because I expect tourists to be coming in. See the island university, only 200 people. That's not that's not tremendously great. Um, academic works, we'll give. Sure, it's only $10,000, we have $2 million, so we're more, we're more than okay. The nice thing about the city is we didn't use any uh, cheats, we didn't use any grant money to build the city, which is, I think, just about a first for one of my builds. So that's pretty good. I will say I am proud of that. Um, Let's look, let's look at Pentic Penticton Trails. 142 people. That's making a healthy profit of about $1,000 a week. That's nice. We can probably see people all over the place here. Yeah, we sure do. Oh, yeah, there's people all over this park. So th this park has served its purpose quite well. Oh, we have quite a bit of unemployment in that area of the city. Well, that's too bad. Well, I know why, because everybody just moved over to working here in the wilding and forestry industry, which, while we haven't been looking, has leveled up to um, a five-star industry. It's making $3,900 $3, turn, which is good. So let's see our zoo here. Oh, we got anybody? Let's see if we could take a look around and actually find somebody walking around. Uh, not really. It's pretty empty. Uh, oh, look, we got a few mascots walking around. But that's about it. I'm not seeing... T oh, there's a few people. Is that somebody? Is that a sim? Yeah, there's a couple. Oh, there's a few. Uh, there are a few sims walking around there. But certainly not a mass exodus of people yet. So 25 people out of 500 to get to the next level. We can certainly level it up. We'll probably get it to star th uh, three star... Uh, zoo as it is so we got people okay but not really getting off there let's see if anybody gets off of this bus uh, a few people got off let's see if anybody goes into the zoo yeah yeah we got people coming into the zoo in the city so I think it's just a matter of time until that starts to become more attractive and starts to build up a regular patronage of people coming in. So how many people does that make it? 34 people. No. Not, not the greatest. Oh, we got lots of people here at the airport. Yeah. 12 people again. And how many people are waiting at the airport? 50 right now. And I'm sure there's another bus coming in. Yeah, another bus is right there. Okay, and we got plenty of people. So 380 people, 86 tourists, and 100% car trip saved. That's pretty good. So taxis. We got one taxi in use. Three, two, well, whatever. Case is there. I'm not sure what's going on with that exactly. All right, okay. So we got this area leveling up. Now, are there any city services that we could add to this 
area here. Let's take a look here and see what they're lacking. High school education, they're lacking. Transport, they're lacking, even though we're not that far away from transportation, to be honest. Police coverage is good. Uh, medical services is there. Fire services is there. Um, that's pretty much it. And hopefully they're going to level up soon. So let's see what the overall level of dwellings is about. So right now we're at about four. The average is 3.5 for the house level, uh, 2.75 for commercials, and 1.75 for the industrials. And we're at a population of 1387. Up by. City attractiveness is up to 31% from 21%, which is good. Average land value is 46 meters squared. It used to be 42, so that's also up and good. I would imagine we probably could put some residential in here if we really wanted to. Uh, the question is, do we really want to? Um, I probably put some residential in here instead. Let me use the fill. There we go. Okay. And I'll put a residential here as well, just because... It's very close to the school, so that'll really help level it up. And well, let's put some residentials in here too. I mean, we're just, we just completely left this out. Let's put some residentials in here. And that should probably be enough. It'll probably take us up to 15,000 people, which is okay. Overshoot it a little bit, no big deal. It's a little bit higher than what the actual real population of the city is, but... I don't. I, I think that we're we're still on safe ground. If we go a bit over, so visitors is twenty two, eighty four. Okay, so it's building slowly but steadily. It, it's building up. I mean, I don't expect it to be profitable just instantly, but unrealistic. But it is. Uh, it is attracting people. And let's wait for another yellow bus to come. There's another yellow bus. There's another yellow bus. So let's watch that yellow bus. I want to see if it drops off um, some more people. Oh, there's people waiting to go to the airport. That's the only destination left. So it rules out they're wanting to travel anywhere else. Let's see. Uh, log yard, okay. Leaving the city, that makes sense. Going to work, okay, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> or maybe they work at the airport. So, okay, so some people got off. And all went in, pretty much all of them went into the zoo. So, there's uh, living proof that uh, it's attracting people in the city. It's attracting tourists and attracting um, residents of the city, slowly but surely. It's up to 20, 20 people now came in, okay. We're at 100. Hopefully that levels up to... Uh, start to zoo soon and then it'll charge more money and then lose less money which is my hope at this point take a look here people are waiting for the bus so I mean, this has got a steady stream of people coming in and out waiting for the bus there now um, Oh, we've got some demand for commercial zone. Um, I think that the only place that I would put some commercial zone at this point is along... Uh, what, what road is this called? Duncan Avenue. I think that's the only place that I would put some more commercial developments right now. Uh, clearly we do need it, so let's put it in. Alright, there we go. That's why it can also carry up to 300 kilograms of human animal Okay, there we go. The climate control device Should bring down the demand for commercial a little bit. Alright. So, population now 14,093 people. Not bad. So that this area has pretty much been disbanded uh, for a large part just because there's not enough workers. A lot of people, I'm sure, have gone over to working in the log yard industry. How many people? They're all employing how many? 20 people. Um, and it wouldn't hurt to get a little more population up so that 
we can get some more workforce into the city that wouldn't hurt at all let's go take a look at the university see how many people have come in 224 it's pretty low pretty low I was expecting a higher turnout to be honest that was not exactly uh, a success story but we do have it here in, in any event I'm sure it did some good for attracting uh, residents to the city and uh, increasing land value. I'm sure that it did benefit us that way, at least. And, of course, we did get some high, more highly educated sims out of it. Let's take a look here. And we got um, capacity is good for elementary. It is down for high school availability. Perhaps that's a problem. Maybe we should uh, increase that. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's change the high school that way. We've got a high school with a capacity of 1,000. So let's see if we can get a high school that's a little bit larger. I, I know that we do have high schools that are larger than that. Let's see if we could find something that's larger that will fit in there. So it's 1,000 people, 1,000, 1,000. 400, yeah, let's let's keep going this way. Um, 1,000, 1,000, that's 2,500, that's maybe a little too big. 200, 1,100, okay, let's keep going, let's see what we find here. 1,300, how big is this? Ah, it's small. 2,000, how big is that? Mm. Okay, so that's 1,300. Okay, maybe that one. 1200. 1100. 1200. 1400. Ah, maybe I like this one. That's 1400, is probably a good, good bet. Let's replace it with the one that's 1400. So, Ocean View Secondary School. Let's copy and let's delete that, yeah. And let's go ahead and put in the new one and fit it right in here there we go okay and let's rezone this residential these residences these places here with some residential zoning okay let's see how this fills up so we've got 325 in here already 425 so it's just boogieing along 514. I'm, I, I'm curious to see how far it's going to go. I would imagine that's probably going to fill up all the way, but I just want to see. Oh, I forgot to name it. And let's copy. Let's paste that in Ocean View Secondary School. Okay. So we're up to 823, 928. Well, it's populating rather fast. Okay, 135. So we beat the previous amount. So the reason that this is important is because if we're not graduating all the people in the city we've got about 600 more people that we can be graduating from high school or secondary school that we're not and though that's all potential business that we're missing out on at the university so that i mean that's going to make a big difference so we got 1400 out of 1400 okay so i, I would imagine that sooner or later uh we're going to see our student population at uh, the vancouver island university increase up to 500 Okay. Let's see the Dog River Park. Let's see how that's coming along. Oh, policies. i got to change that. Let's put Celebrate Night Tours on. I definitely want to attract people around the clock. And let's have fireworks. They're nice, aren't they? Mm. So, 13.66 entertainment value. Uh, total of 245. 245 people have visited the uh, park so far. Visitors this week was only 20. I do want to see if we can get that a bit higher. We've got transportation. We've got residentials in the area. So I, I think I've done all that I can do for the moment to make it attractive. Should I maybe put some... Tr some Commercial buildings along here. I think that maybe I should put some commercial. Let's put some commercial here. Right at the airport. Let's see if there's any takers for commercial development 
right next to the airport. We well, always seem to have garbage piling up at the main terminal. No matter how many garbage trucks you send out, there will always be garbage piling up at the main terminal for some reason. Okay, what is this? 12, 12 people out of 200? Okay, that's well, not overwhelming, is it? Um, passenger count 2, 286. Think about the passenger count. It just keeps going up and up and up, even though the limit, like, the limit for the next level, the the benchmark for the next level is 500. No, we're not getting any commercial developments over here. That is kind of odd. Um, maybe we need them just closer to where people live. Okay. Well, let's try that out. There we go. Let's put it closer to the residential area. Look at that. We've already... Oh, no. That's not one that's developing yet. That's just part of the terrain there. It's not a development. Okay, what about here? Anything yet? No, no, no development for commercial. Okay. Well, there we go. One, two. Okay. So I think it's time that we put in a bus stop over here because we should service them with people and allow people to be able to commute to these locations a little bit easier. Okay. Oh, that person at the uh, Park Ming Park side gate just got picked up by a Volvo V90 hearse. Okay. So let's take a look at the dog park again. 50 people. Oh, not bad. That's, that's a little... Putting a little more bounce in my step. So 50 people have showed up last week. And a profit of, well, a profit, but an income of 500. We're at a loss. Our expenses are 1,900. So we're at a loss of about $1,500, $1,428 a week to be exact. Now we've got 33 people. But you know what? I mean, traffic has steadily just increased. So, I mean, on the, on the brighter side, it's not going to take long for us now to get that to be a level two park. And then we'll be able to charge more money. It'll become more. I think it becomes. Does I? I think it becomes more attractive when you level up. I'm not sure. I'll take a look. I'll, I'll see if I could make a note of whether it does or doesn't. So entertainment right now is 1363. Soon it'll level up uh, to level two once it reaches 500 people. We're at 396 now, and I'm curious to see whether the entertainment value of the entertainment score of the zoo is going to increase once we hit uh, level two because uh, I'm not making any other changes to it and uh, I can't seem to be able to fit anything more into the zoo to increase the entertainment score so let's see if that might do it okay so we're at 405 now visitors this week 46 let's just wait and see what happens with that so while we're waiting for that let's turn our attention over to the vancouver island university and over here we have oh we've dropped in uh enrollment we've now got 203 students in here uh, when we started off this segment i think that we had around 400 so we lost about half the students now important to note that they do go in waves, so, I mean, it's always up and down, but I'm just surprised that we never got to 500. I mean, I hope that with the addition of having upgraded our high school to be able to have a higher capacity and better serve the city, I hope that we graduate more students and more sims, and that, in turn, we're going to see a higher enrollment in our university. But so far, um, I think that it's been an underwhelming endeavor. Okay. So, let's uh, see the bus terminal. It's carrying 737 people a week. Wow, that's not bad. Uh, there's not a lot of people waiting here. Uh, yeah, there's certainly a lot of people waiting for buses. See the yellow bus here? Line details, 482 people serviced. 482 residents serviced and 109 tourists serviced last weekend. One, all, all of them, and 100% car trip safe, so all of them chose to ride the bus instead of taking the car. And I must say that we've got pretty good traffic level in the city. 
Let's take a quick look and see what uh, it says for traffic flow. I don't think it'll be tremendous. Oh, 58%, 49%. Ooh, that's uh, not necessarily great. Um, it's all because of it's all because of this highway, this one lane highway that we have running through the city, and I'm just not willing to make it larger because it would be fictitious. And in real life, we only have a practically just a single lane highway running through the city. We have kind of overloaded it with a higher population and a big industrial, a huge uh, lumber industry. So, I mean, in all fairness, um, we should take that into consideration. Okay, and again, there's not enough products uh, to be bought. Um, that seems to be an ongoing theme that we don't we don't have enough buyers for products in our forestry industry, and then that makes us, um, well, if not lose money, profit less for sure. So right, last week's profit was thirty-eight ninety-six. If I remember correctly, I think we got up to around four thousand, eight thousand, something like that. Um, so it has it has dropped. City right now is profiting thirty-eight thousand dollars, which is incredible. Actually, let's see where all that money's coming from. Um, we've got industries bringing in ten thousand, residential bringing in thirty-four thousand, commercial ten thousand. Um, industries. Well, when I say industries, the actual manufacturing industry, the forestry, is bringing in eight thousand dollars of income return. All in all, all told. Um, the other industries are bringing in a total, like the regular industrial zones are bringing in about $1,900 a turn. So we have um, $63,000 coming in, $29,000 of cost. This is actually quite good. We've made uh, quite a profitable city. And, I mean, you don't need to make millions and millions and millions of dollars. I mean, what are you going to do with all that money anyways? There's only so much you could do with the money. So if you just have a nicely balanced city, I think that's good enough. As long as it's marginally profitable, where you can save up money to buy things and expand the city, I think that's good enough. Because there's only so much that you could do with the money anyways. Um, okay. There we go. Oh, oh, that person waiting to be picked up here on Linden Street. Garbage truck coming through. That person is waiting for transport. I would imagine that there's a hearse coming. Oh, look, I see a hearse. I think that's a hearse. Looks like a hearse coming to pick up the dead person here. Yep, that is a hearse. And it is turning into grab the dead person. There we go. And problem solved. Okay. Let's take a look at the... Oh, we leveled up to level 2 at the dark part. Fantastic. So now we're charging uh, $12 per ticket. Visitors last week was only 18 But it's coming up. It's doing better than this other park that we made initially, which went down over here when we, when we first started the city, which is Grief Point, which is taking forever to level up. But it's finally uh, uh, slugged its way over to uh, becoming a three-star park. Visitors last week, 6 so, uh, not, not too many people are using the park. Now, I'm wondering whether there's something I could do about this traffic. Uh, I think there would be if I made a larger highway, but you know, like I said before, I, I'm not really up for doing that. So... Okay. Population 15,000. Okay, so I think that's a good place to um, end this segment. Uh, thank you very much for uh, being along. Uh, if you like the video, please do give it a like. Um, please do subscribe and um, give a follow. And I will see you next time when we continue our build of Powell River British Columbia. Thank you. Take care.